right. My name is Angela Herlock, and I am the executive director of Claritian Associates, a mid-sized nonprofit, a community development corporation on the far southeast side in a neighborhood called South Chicago. Um, I want to start our time together by asking you to close your eyes and think about the first place that you ever called home. You know, why did you call it home? What was it about it that made it soothing and, and comfortable and safe for you? Was it, you know, because it was the first time you had your own room or because all your family was there? Was it in a, um, a neighborhood that you love and is nostalgic or um, it was where your favorite school was located? Um, there probably are some reasons why you consider this to be a safe place and where why you call this place home. And um, my first memory of home um, was I was about five years old and I remember waking up, it was a Christmas day um, and my father had spent all night building this kitchen set for me. And um, I, I got up and we played with it for a little while and then he needed to um, actually leave for work because he had to work that day. And so um, why this is so important to me is because, you know, my, my father, my, I'm very close to my family. Um, my parents uh, were brought here, are both from the South, and they were brought here as children uh, by their parents during the 1940s and 50s um, through in the Great Migration, which was a time period that African Americans were coming from the South, coming to the Midwest and other industrialized cities because there were better jobs there. And so their parents brought them here as children. And then they actually met when they were like 14, they lived across the street from one another. Um, and then they dated and they got married when they were 20. My father's a Vietnam vet. And so he went away to war uh, for a few years. And the first time that we, um, I think ever lived with my dad, I think I was about three years old and, and we had went to Texas where he was stationed. But coming back to Chicago was around that time, it was around when I was uh, turning five and going into kindergarten and, um, and this was this apartment that we lived in that was across the street from my school. And so that memory is just always sticks with me. It's one of my first memories of being with my dad and, and um, him building that kitchen set and then going off to work and, and me and my mom playing and me and my mom and my younger sister uh, playing for the rest of the day. My younger sister was an infant. Um, shortly thereafter, uh, my father tells this story about how he picked me up from kindergarten one day. And I don't know what he saw or experienced, but whatever it was, he just didn't like it. And so then he decided to move us and he didn't move us very far, but he moved us about six blocks, six blocks from where we were living into a completely different neighborhood. And, um, and it was really, really interesting uh, because it just opened up a, a new trajectory in a world for me and my sister. It was a completely different neighborhood, completely different kind of demographic of people and, and um, situations and all those types of things. Uh, but it also created a great opportunity of stability for us as well. Uh, my parents had bought their first home, which was a two flat. And um, um, because of where we lived, um, it designated exactly where we would go to school, which is very different than now, because now you could live one place and, and you could have, I, I have friends who have children who go to three different schools. <laughs> you know, they go to wherever they can get throughout the city. And it's, it's really, really interesting dynamic, but that allowed me and my sister to go to the same school all the way through eighth grade and then the same school through middle school and the same school with all of the same people through high school. Um, because it was just that, that was the way it was set up. Um, we didn't have to think about if we were going to have to uh, move or anything like that. We had such stability. And my parents only moved once after that. They moved when I was 12. They moved one block west and one block north of where we lived from the time I, we moved when I was five. And they live in that home today. And they're over 70 now. So um, they've lived there for like over 40 years. And again, that stability gave uh, my sister and I the ability to just think about our dreams and goals and go on to college and have opportunities. Now, in my life, I'm married and I have a 10 year old. Me and my husband have chosen to live in the neighborhood where I serve um, and the community that I serve. And it's been dynamic. It, we love this uh, neighborhood. We live two blocks from the lake. It's amazingly affordable, but the amenities are sometimes challenged. And so my life work now is, is meant to build that community. Um, I remember um, when I was working in architecture, I'm an architect by uh, training, and working in private practice, driving through the neighborhoods from my office uh, back to my home and thinking about the people that I knew, my aunts and uncles that lived in these neighborhoods, but didn't have any 
um, focus or any voice in how these neighborhoods were changing. I so wanted to make sure that people had a voice in, in how that was happening. And so that's what made me actually shift from traditional architecture to community development and being able to allow people, allow residents and businesses to have a voice in their six blocks, in what is happening and how it's developing. Um, and so um, it's been super, super exciting. It's been super exciting to be here 17 years. And over those 17 years, we've built about 200 units of housing. Um, we are working on amazing projects right now, grocery stores, you know, buildings where there's both housing and grocery stores, there's community centers, there's all types of um, artistic venues and things like that. And I think about how it feels so good to me to be able to um, have a hand in the six blocks I live in and help other, my neighbors and other people and businesses and have a hand and a voice and what happens within those six blocks. So I would ask you, you know, to think about your six blocks. And then I wanna uh, mention one other thing. So over the last year, I've also had the opportunity um, of being uh, named the chair for the Chicago Housing Authority. And so we serve at Clarice and Associates about 3000 families. Through the Chicago Housing Authority, also known as CHA, we serve 63,000 families across the city. That has been so dynamically amazing to me because um, it's kind of like my macro and my micro. Um, in my micro, in my everyday life, I can serve the families and be intimate with them. And then in my macro, there's like all these families across the city that we're serving, but it's the same dynamic of giving people choice and giving people voice and making sure we're making things better for people and giving them the right to live where they want to live and, ex and have the experiences they want to have in their own backyard without having to be shift shifted around because they can't afford to stay someplace. And so I would ask you to think about your six blocks. Think about the six blocks you live in now. Do you call that home? Is that really where you call home? Do you have a voice in that six blocks? Are you affecting the change in that six blocks? Do you know your neighbors? Do you know the local business owners? Do you shop locally even? You know, how ingrained are you into making that six blocks better? Um, how ingrained are you into um, having a voice? You know, and it can, it can look like a lot of different things. I'm not saying you have to run for an elected um, position or anything like that or start a block club, but think about the ways that you can have a voice in your six blocks. And, and think about if that's what you'd like to do. Um, it's been amazing to me. And so I encourage people just to look at their six blocks and have it a good effect. I hope you guys have a great day.